Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week's fly is going to be a zebra midge. I'm going to tie this one in black. Uh, zebra midges work really great in the summertime, fall time, and sometimes we'll fish them in the summer, but these are mostly for winter fishing and fall fishing. So let's go over what we're going to use on this fly. So we are going to be using an Allen Fly Fishing N203 in a size 20. We like to tie these from an 18 to a 22. Uh, we're also going to be using some black thread. This is the UTC 70 denier in black. We're also going to be using some UTC extra small silver wire. We use extra small on size 20s and 22s. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. We already have the hook and the bead on the vise. Um, it can be a little tricky to get this size bead onto the hook and the bead we're using, I forgot to go over that, is going to be a tungsten ball bead in a two millimeter and these are also from uh, Allen Fly Fishing. So like I said, it's a little little tough to get that bead onto that hook, but if you use some um, hackle pliers like these here, it makes it a little easier. You just get it onto the hook, off the vise, and then just get the bead on there. All right, let's get started with this fly. All right, so we got our bead on our hook here. We have the hook in the vise. We're gonna go ahead and start the thread right behind the bead. And we're gonna go ahead and cut off the tag end. Wrap back a little bit. And right about there, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our wire and I've pulled off about a four inch piece of wire here. This will probably make numerous flies. We'll go ahead and start it on our side and we'll wrap back. Keeping the wire on my side of the hook as I go back. And you're gonna to wanna to go deep down into the bend here. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap back forward. Now the body of the fly is all thread, so what we're going to do is build up a nice taper here. And there's a little trick you can do to make sure that your body is nice and smooth, because we want that really nice smooth body. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and get the body started here. We're going to wrap back, not all the way down to the bend, to right about there. And before we come up, we're going to take the, the bobbin here and we're going to counterspin it, which will, which will loosen and flatten out the thread. So when you so now as you come up, you're going to be laying down nice flat wraps. You're going to want to keep wrapping here every once in a while stopping and spinning your bobbin to flatten out that thread. You don't want to wrap all the way down every time. You just want to wrap down just enough to get that body started, or get that body tapered. So we're going to go back down for the last time here. We're going to counter, we're going to spin that bobbin and flatten out the thread. Go back to right about there and then come back up. And that should be good enough. We're going to leave our thread right there and we're going to take our wire and you're going to spire you're going to put this wire right onto here onto the body and you're going to want to space that out as even as you can so the gaps between each turn are about the same and when you get up to the top you're just going to capture that wire wrap in front and behind that wire a couple times and go ahead and helicopter that wire out. Then you're going to wrap around a couple more times here to build up a little head. And grab your whip finish tool. Do a three or four turn whip finish. Make sure that knot is nicely seated. And cut it off. And there you go. You got a nice zebra midge. 
and then uh, you can put a droplet head cement on here to make sure that those wraps don't come undone but I'm not going to do that now because I, I like to just leave it the way it is. Um, like I said before this fly is very easy to tie so if you're a beginner this is a great fly to, to learn how to how to learn how to get your your um, fly tying going and I recommend anybody who wants to do their own fly tying to start off with this fly. It's a very simple fly to, to, to tie and it works very very well. Catches a lot of fish. Alright guys so um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and like the video if you like it. Um, we will be having a video one new fly tying video a week um, and we're starting to get a bunch up there now so we'll just keep right on going. Uh, so as always guys, tight lines.